here. This is where he hid out. I was looking for some paperwork. Mike had told me to look for some paperwork that Mark had. Uh, Mark had a copy and Mike had a copy. Came down here and I found these documents. I found Mark's deposition. Mark states, I met Michael Egan in 99 when I moved to Los Angeles. But he called us and told us that he was working for a company called Den. I know he was really happy about that. It was a big step for him. Mike was with him at the time. I had already met Mark Cohen's rector, Chad Shacklin, Brock Pierce, at a uh, graduation that we had for our private school. There were only a few people in my grade. Scott Shackley was Chad's little brother. So I was introduced to them. And then they gave me a uh, job as an actor at Den in a TV show. Was that good? Was that good? What are your favorite hobbies? My favorite hobbies? Ooh. One of the first shows they produced was Chad's World. It was about a young boy who comes to live with this older man. It was a real example of art imitating life, their lives. Welcome to your new world, Chad. Jeez, you guys fixed it all up for me. In fact, they even filmed Chad's World at their house, the MNC Mansion. You got your own TV, phone, VCR, stereo, your own jacuzzi, you got the works. Oh, yeah. I think I'll be able to hang here. It was um, filling a dream. In or about September 1999, both Michael Egan and I were invited to a party. We are at what they what used to be called the MNC Estate, Mark Cohen's rector and Chad Shackley's house. Well, we arrived there, and Michael introduced me to Collins' rector, Chad and Brock. Mark Collins' rector just showed me the house, showed me the backyard, the guest houses, you know, went through all that. There was no expense spared at the MNC estate. There really wasn't. The, the pool was, was ridiculous. It was a swim-up bar, like, in the pool. Like, I can remember often being served lunch, like, the butler or whatever, the chef would come out and, like, bring lunch at the, to the swim-up bar at the pool. You know what I mean? It was literally like going to Disney World for the first time. It was like, this is amazing. The place you got here could definitely work to our advantage. Bring some girls here, they're gonna love this place. Sounds good to me. Before I even went to the house, like, Scott was like, you know, my house is different. You know, like, this, the, you know, the dynamic at my house is not like a normal house. I guess I should tell you, they're gay. <sighs> Um, hey, uh, that's cool with me. I have no problem. So Mark was definitely like the like the leader, and then like Chad it was always like Mark, like the husband. Chad would be the the female figure of the wife, and and uh, I, I don't know how in in a normal in a normal context you would fit Brock into that picture, but. Where do you want my eyes? Right into the lens. Into the lens. Okay. If I was over late at night, you'd see like they'd have people over getting into a hot tub with Chad or Brock or Mark or all three of them at one time getting in where he was naked and all of them were naked getting in the hot tub and you'd start to see these different little things happen. I'd be like, what the hell is going on? There's a skinny dipping rule after after nighttime, so anybody who was over, you know what I mean? It didn't matter who it was that, you know, you had to skinny dip after after dusk or whatever. You know what's going on, so you don't want to look Right at it's like the sun during an eclipse. You know what I mean? You you want to <laughs> you, you want to look, but you don't want to look. You know what I mean? But um, 